All right, so we look at this problem. And when we do problems, I really think we could benefit by slowing ourselves down, going through some thinking before coming up with answers. So as we look at this, one of the things I would first do is I'd read it once. Stacy, not Stacy's mom, but Stacy has $75 in her account. On Monday, she deposits $19.75. She earned babysitting. If Stacy buys a new pair of shoes for $40.35, about how much money does she have in her account? So we're going to read it that first time. Now, then we're going to write in words, we're going to write in words what we think the question is asking. Because so many times, even in this class, which is full of geniuses, I have students answering a question that's not even asked. They answer their own question. Well, when you answer your own question and not the question asked, oftentimes that means you don't get the correct answer. So, Courtney, if I were to ask you, what are we supposed to find when we answer this question? How much money does she have left? How much money does she have left? Okay. Where? In her account. In her account. Okay, so we need to see how much money in her account. And... I, I can start being really mean and making you write all this stuff out and giving you a zero if you don't follow the directions. Or you can kind of start doing some of this yourself, especially if you're not doing as well as you possibly could. All right, now we're going to write in words. Not using any numbers. Not using numbers in words. So you can't use a number in word form. Exactly how we would solve this problem. And I think I'm going to call on Ella to tell me that. Um, first, we would, uh, we would take the original amount of money in her account on and add it to the amount she earned from babysitting things. And then we would subtract that from how much the shoes cost to get our total answer. And then subtract cost of shoes. Does everybody agree with that? Um, yes. Yeah? Okay, I need the computers closed, please. I would, I would add one thing to that. Because it says about, I want to make these numbers friendly. Friendly for me. So using my original, my statement of how I'm supposed to do it, I'm going to write an equation. So... I'm just going to use the original numbers first. 75, and you said add $19.75, and then subtract $40.35. And that's going to equal what's in her account. So that would equal A. So now, since it says about... I'm going to make these numbers friendly to myself. Friendly numbers that'll help me do the math. I'm going to leave 75. 75 is a pretty good number because it's a multiple of five. It works for quarters. And then I would add, I would change 1975 to 20. And then I would change $40.35 to 40. 
And that would make this much easier for me to do in my head. Now let's make an estimate of what you think it could be. So if I asked you, Rebecca, do you think she's going to have more than $75 in her account when she's done or less than $75 in her account when she's done? Less. Than less than 75 Can you tell me why? Because um, if she's buying a new pair of shoes, then... So if she's buying a new pair of shoes, she, she's going to have to take away money from mm -hmm. what she has. Mm -hmm. But she also added money to what she has. Well, because um, if you add the money, it's it's higher, but you have to um, you have to subtract forty, which if um, seventy five, but you only have if you if you just did forty dollars and forget the cents, it'd uh -huh. be thirty five dollars. And if you add a night, just forget about the um, seventy five cents, and you just add the nineteen, you'd only have. You only have okay, no, you're good. I understand what you're saying. She's spending more than what she added to her account. So she's spending more money than what she put in her account. So that means our final solution, A, is going to be less than $75. Okay. So now I can do all of this in my head. 75 plus 20 is what? 95. 95 subtract 40 is what? 55. 55. So my about is $55 left in her account. I want to go back and I want to reread the problem because I want to make sure that the answer I've selected makes sense with what the problem says. Always at the end, reread the problem and see if your answer makes sense. Don't just read it once at the speed of light. Answer it and move on to the next one. Stacy's mom has $75 in her account. On Monday, she deposits $19.75. She earned babysitting. If Stacy buys a new pair of shoes for $40.35, about how much money does she have in her account? Well, that seems to make sense. We did an about. We know that she spent more than she added in. So all that seems pretty logical. Yes, ma'am. Did you say Stacy's mom at the beginning? Oh, that's a song, so it gets stuck in my head every time I hear the name Stacy. I'm just saying. <laughs> 